Hello and welcome to the demonstration of DynaVista CA application for system KTID5. My name is Jakob Schmeda and I work for Dyton Company, who is the sole distributor for this solution within the European region. Just a few words off the start about Dyton. We are a business consulting company dealing with Dassault Systems products. One of the products is Katia, and today I would like to guide you through one of the existing custom applications to Katia, namely DynaVista CAA. The presentation aims to familiarize you with the solution and to introduce key functionalities and key usage benefits to you. Without further ado, let's dive into it. Here we see the basic structure composition in modules that together make one of the DynaVista packages called the DAI Layout Design Package. It consists of three modules, Formability Fillet, Formability Shaper and DAI Face Design. The software is scalable, so any combination of these modules is possible even though the full package is the most cost effective than the separate modules or their combinations. A few words about suitability of using individual modules. Now only briefly though. The entire superstructure is particularly suited for tool shops as a whole, but the formability fillet is actually suitable for any design development phases, not only tools. Wherever the user is confronted with complex rounding, for example. Typically uses are in the areas of product development, mold making, prototypes, or just pressing tools. The formability shaper and die face design are then typically used for the purpose of the tool room in comprehensive design of the die tools. In this video, let's take a closer look at the last of the modules from the package die layout design and also one which is typically used in tool shops, the die face design. So the die face design module is again a tool for toolbars, tool shops, same as the formability shaper. Although the formability shaper reshapes the pressed sheet itself, so it's later usable for the tool, the die face is already a tool for solving the design of pressing tools. It is that one tool for necessary geometry changes. Here on the slide we can see the functions most important features. Again the basic principle here is the time saving during your design. So an easy creation of additional and random surfaces with tension propagation, a quick generator for rapid creation of modified beads for example, or a creation of spread and develop general surfaces. There is a whole variety of different functionalities within the die face module. We chose to select at least the most interesting representatives. This may include extrapolated surface, a flange line calculation and a creation of a bead surface. Firstly, to add some information to the first mentioned feature of custom extrapolation, well, sometimes because of the tool it is necessary to stretch the surface of the molding. In Katia, this crashes, tangently curved, works limited. Now, DynaVista has its own extrapolation when connecting to the entry surfaces that works. A few words about the second big feature, the flange expansion. Part of the input channel area is to be accessed on a pre-prepared another element. Could be some technological area or shape then it is necessary to unfold this part onto this input feature or surface itself. In Katia there are tools for this feature but only such as fold and unfold feature being often a very inconvenient and tedious process. For this feature a sampler is again prepared for you to show the functionality on the model which you can see on this picture. Let's take a look at it. So in this case we have nicely set the inputs in the tree as you can see. On the surface itself you can see the red area on which we're going to project the green curve or the part which is underneath the yellow surface area. So the first input is the flange itself. 
we can define the starting endpoints not necessary in this case the spine curves is the blue boundary which we just selected the base curve from which we're going to transfer is the yellow one and right now we only have to select the original surface and the after surface or the section on which uh, the original one will be projected as such you can see the result is in a form of a wireframe which is uh, actually nothing else but a set of sections ending up with a whole one curve called a flange surface curve what you have to do and DynaVista will not do for you is the finish of this whole functionality and that's a split so we're going to the generative shape design we're looking at the surface of the after faces and we're looking in the resulting curve from the flange expansion selecting split functionality element to cut is the after faces and the cutting element is the flange expansion right now we can see the result already having a new surface created just a few clicks you can see the comparison itself function of creating bead or so-called breaking surfaces these are simply used to avoid material damage and to better fix the material in desired position generally in native Katia they are made by creating construction geometry in a form of different sweeps with help of generative shape design and this may need to be continuously controlled and monitored this is a lengthy process in Katia v5 DynaVista on the other hand has a direct functionality to create these bead surfaces in a simple and efficient way Having a model of a rear door cut part here, going through the workbench die face design and looking for the feature of bead surfaces. You can see the dialog window is somewhat similar to sweep from generative shape design. It can do much more. So the first input is the die face itself, it's trim in our case. The baseline, in this particular example we're going for a simple one. Can't forget the press direction one of the edges as a construction geometry and the main thing the bead section shape which is the profile again on the preview you can see how the bead surface will look once we confirm it you can see an easy creation of it now comparing to the sweep you can see that this bending area could cause trouble when using sweep in generative shape design but the different algorithms in DynaVista ensure that this is a smooth result we can add the edging on both sides to ensure there is a correct ending of the profile having one side and the other one confirming again very simple and easy creation so this was bead surface Customer stories. Let's now talk a little and go through a common summary of the benefits for poor formability shaper in die face design. Now the benefits from these two modules are mentioned together because they are overlapping a lot. And these are from a from perspective of several customers who were able to test these modules. The first point is talking about a drastic reduction of time using a number of functions for creating editing and eventually evaluating the surfaces of the die tools. The second one talks about the uh, geometrical associative parametric design that means the specification. So we can edit all the work all the way. And the last one is about the robustness of solution in the creation of complex pressing tools. Of course, formability fillet can also be included in these ratings and key benefits and its use and deployment is well suited for areas other than the creation of pressing tools 
like in the case of shape or die face design. 